Hi, math friends. This is Kristen Hilty from Making Math Make Sense. Today, we're going to learn how to play the game Racing Time. This is a great game for kids who are practicing reading um, how to read time on an analog clock. To play this, you'll see we have attached our game board, our recording sheet, and then also a clock recording sheet for you, which you can use. Uh, put that into a sheet protector, dry erase sleeve, and that way you can use dry erase markers if you do not have clocks at home. Um, Brett and I are gonna actually play it with these clocks, but I did want you to know we did have that clock recording sheet there if you need it. All right, playing racing time. These are going to be our race cars. I'm gonna be blue. My friend Brett here is going to be red. Uh, you need one die, the game board, and then like I said, either the clocks or that recording sheet for the clocks. I'm gonna go first. I rolled and I rolled a one. So I'm gonna move from pit stop to this first space here, which says 15 minutes later. Everybody's clock starts at 12 o'clock, so I now need to make it 15 minutes later. So I'm gonna turn my clock to 12.15. On our recording sheet here, I'm just, Brett and I are going to share this recording sheet. So on my recording sheet, my beginning time was 12 o'clock. The elapsed time that I landed on was I had to add 15 minutes. So I'm gonna put plus 15 M and my ending time now is 12.15. So Brett is now going to roll. I'm gonna move my clock over here. This is your clock. Brett's gonna roll. <laughs> he rolled a one as well. So he's gonna to go to that first space. He also has to make his clock say 12.15, just like I did. He would record that on his recording sheet. Go ahead and hold your clock, Brett. I'm gonna roll, this time I rolled a four. One, two, three, four. Mine now says 15 minutes earlier. So if I have to make my clock 15 minutes earlier, I have to go backwards 15 minutes, and now I am at 12 o'clock. On my recording sheet, my starting time for that was 12.15. I had to subtract 15 minutes, and my ending time right now is 12 o'clock. Brett's gonna roll. We keep rolling the same thing. He is going to do the same thing to his clock, so he's gonna end up at 12 o'clock. On my turn, I have 45 minutes later. 45 minutes later. So if I'm at 12 o'clock, I have to add 45 minutes. That's gonna get me over here to 1245. I would put that back on here. My beginning time was 12 o'clock. I had to add 45 minutes and my ending time is 12.45. Brett's gonna go. He rolled a five. He's at 60 minutes earlier. Oh, so he oh. was at 12 o'clock. He had to make his clock 60 minutes earlier. So he is now all the way back at 11 o'clock. So he is there. I rolled a two. I have to make mine 20 minutes earlier. So I was at 12.45. I'm gonna back up my 15 minutes and then five more. I'm at 12.25. The object of this game, you wanna be the first person who gets to six o'clock. So Brett, go ahead and roll one more time for us. Brett rolled a six. Now what Brett's gonna do is he's gonna keep going around that board. This pit stop does count as a space. So let's come back over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. He is now at 60 minutes later. So 60 minutes later on his clock gets him back to 12 o'clock. Again, you're gonna keep racing in that clockwise position as you go around the clock, recording your time, and you wanna be the person who gets your clock all the way to six o'clock p.m. first, and you're the winner. Have fun practicing time as you race around that racetrack.